almost like she had a little pucker right there. And that vibrato was just going. What's up, y'all? I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this Blessed by the Best studio, the Jaren M. Luger Studio. I have been listening to this clip on TikTok for the past, like, week and a half. I just love how they sing this song together. And I'm like, why not just analyze it for YouTube? Because why not? You know, I mean, it's a good song. They both can sing, so let's just do it. So anyway, let's get to what we came to do. Here is my own voice analysis of Teddy Swims and Kelly Clarkson singing lose control on the Kelly Clarkson show. Something's got a hold on me lately. No, I don't know myself anymore. Feels like the walls are all closing in and the devil's knocking at my door. Don't know myself anymore. So he kind of uses some nasality in his voice. Don't know myself anymore. A little bit of that. And then a little bit of that grit. I think it's coming from air pressure increase and a little bit of compression in the false vocal folds or in the vocal track. I can't do it like him, but I think it's a little bit of that air pressure and a little bit of that grit, that squeeze. Don't know myself anymore. It kind of like that. I can't do it quite like him, but I think between the nasality and the pressure of the grit, I think that's a part of his cool, unique sound that I think that people, including me, really enjoy, you know? Whoa, out of my mind, how many times did I tell you I'm no good at being I love how they sing together. I like how they speed through some of these words and how the articulation is very cohesive between them two. I feel like they complement each other's voices very, very well. I just do. I love it. It's taking a toll on me. Trying my best to keep from taking a toll on me. This little aspirate offset, like a little breathy release at the end of that me right there. Yeah, it's taking a toll on me. You see what I'm saying? On me. There it is, on me, like that, kind of like that. So he changes the shape of the vowel. As he moves through that run right there or that lick in the chorus. Instead of control, he says control. So he's oh, 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 at the end of that run. When you're not next to me. When you're not next to me. When you're not next to me. It isn't when you're not next to me. When you're not next to me. So that nasality comes into play, especially when he uses these little nasal consonants. When you're not next to me. Right there. Instead of when you're not next to me. Mm -mm. When you're not next to me. And I feel like he intentionally takes away or omits certain consonants, certain diphthongs. Instead of when you're not next to me. You got them consonants and stuff that I'm doing. Instead of when you're not next to me. When you're not next to me. With the neutralized lip position. When you're not next to me. I'm falling Did you hear him bring in that grit on Can't You See? Can't you see? Right there. But it's almost like he keeps his mouth a little bit more, like almost like a rectangle or an oval, like a long oval. So it's not spread. It's not wide. It's more so like this. And he gets wider and brighter in some parts. I'm not saying this is exclusively what he does, but I feel like when he kind of brings that grit and he still keeps that more longer shape in the mouth, which probably is a part of that warmth that we hear him have. He brings that grit, that more rounded lip position. It really gives a warm, gritty texture to it. Again, he kind of keeps uh, 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 that grit, that pressure, the air pressure, plus kind of more of like a lip pucker or rounded of the vowel. Next to me, you see right there, kind of keeps that that shape. Bottomatic, the bottom 
is the one to party like a fiend, like a bad habit. I love how they do that. Problematic, it's like straight, almost like a robot. Problematic. You know, I feel like how they do it, it's so precise and so straight. There's like no vibrato on those little lines right there. It sounds like a robot, how clean it is, you know? Problematic. <laughs> I don't know why I think a robot, but that's what I thought when I heard the song. And how they even articulate the consonants. It's clean and clear. It's not super hard and percussive, but it's clean and clear. Problematic. <laughs> Bad habits are to put on you. Yeah, I know I can do it on my own, but I want that beautiful magic, that magic, and it takes two. And it takes two. Sing, Kelly. <laughs> Did you hear that problematic? The little breathy offset or like kind of like that breathy K. Problematic. Almost like a slightly voiced offset that they did right there on that problematic right there. I know the word ends in C, but it's a K sound phonetically problematic okay and it's almost like they both took like a lighter maybe like a higher laryngeal approach problematic instead of problematic 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 so a little bit higher laryngeally almost like a voice whisper problematic problematic they don't need some relief i'm standing your teeth and see the forest through the trees that we don't want I love how he brings that greedy color in at the end of that line right there. He does it each time he ends that stanza. Da -na 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 kind of like that and I didn't do the color right but you see what I'm talking about how he kind of brings that thickness and that grit in towards the end so he comes from like a lighter and higher laryngeal position and then kind of brings in that grit and that power and that thickness towards the end of that line She opened up that vowel of control. Control! You see how she kind of did that there? So was it control? No. It almost had the semblance of an I vowel. Control! Instead of the L sound, the um, it, so and instead of the L sound, she kind of brought in a diphthong. Control, control. Instead of control, control. But we still heard the word control, like you know, control. But phonetically and literally, she said control, control. It's okay to modify and change vowels and words and things like that to fit what you're doing vocally when you're singing and things like that. It's totally okay to do. It's almost like she had a little pucker right there. And that vibrato was just going. When you're not next to me. Woo, I love that. I love that. Can't you see? It was a can't you see? No. Can't you see? You see how it's can't you see? Not can't you see. Everything was kind of more, kind of longer, rounder, longer. She again did that control, open up that joint mouth, oh, and then she opened up a little bit more on that top note, oh, okay, and the word is I, not I lose, but I lose, I lose control, and a little scoop right there, control, <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> You heard it right there really good. I lose instead of I no. I I lose control. So it's almost like he went troll. He kind of went down, but she kind of stayed. 
So they kind of split that way and kind of stayed respectively in their ranges, kind of where they're sitting in the song. Yeah. <laughs> She kind of let that C kind of come through, the resonance kind of come through the top of her head. C! And she kind of had a little scoop at the beginning right there. So she almost muttered that first part, when you're not next, and then attacked that next right there. When you're not next to me, with a little grit on that next right there. If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the learn button next to it so you know when the next video is posted. And please give this a like as well. And as I will always say to you, be vocally bold, creative, and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you soon.